Hi there. Welcome to App Drops, your monthly spotlight into the latest and greatest apps hitting the Webflow marketplace. I'm Vic from the developer relations team, and I'm here to walk you through today's overview. I'm excited to show you some apps that will help you work smarter and faster in Webflow. Whether it's scheduling content updates or coding happily in Webflow, we've got some fun new apps to show you. So stick around for some awesome demos. The apps we're covering today are helpful for anyone working in Webflow. The first, Schedule Flow, allows you to schedule updates on your own time. The second, Asset Flow, another flow, allows AI to generate alt text for you on all of your assets. And the last is Code Block, which makes coding, dare I say, fun in Webflow by allowing you to code with your own class names and variables in a context-aware editor. Let's get started with the demos. All right, let's jump into our first app, Schedule Flow, easy peasy app that lets us schedule our content so we can either schedule a site publish or CMS items to publish. In my, I see my different CMS collections and I have different ones that I wanna publish. So here I will say, I wanna publish this, go ahead and publish it in like two minutes. And I will publish it to schedule, there we go. Um, I can do it for a couple of them. So pick the date, pick the time, schedule publish, and then these will be scheduled. I can go then see what's been scheduled or what's scheduled to go. And then we can come back and see what it looks like once it's been published. So we've jumped forward in time and now our two collection items have been published. This is great to just set it and forget it. Um, again, you know, work, work smarter. So if you have a schedule and you wanna get everything all scheduled, whether it's to publish your site or to uh, publish CMS items, you can do all of that right within here. You can even um, schedule to set something to draft if you'd like. There's more options here for a time zone. So this is just a great handy utility that I would use uh, for my content. All right, another great app is Asset Flow, another flow app. So here we have uh, our assets for our project. We have some names, which aren't that great, and we have no alt text. So we can select all of our assets and ask AI, uh, an AI model to generate, to look at the images and then generate some alt text. So we'll generate. We can even uh, do the name as alt text or do decorative uh, if, if it's like a logo or something that we don't need. So here we have a woman in a trench coat, a woman in a red coat, walking down a runway, a closet, perfect. And another great thing is we can actually go to blog posts. Oops, let me save my changes. I forgot to do that. Uh, in case you you didn't like what you got, instead of it saving automatically, you have some, some room there. Then we go to blog posts. So I have a collection called blog posts, so I can jump into my collections, not only just my regular assets. And I can go ahead and select these and generate for these as well. Great, a woman holding shopping bags, a woman sitting with skis. This all looks perfect. I will save this as well. Uh, it's strongly recommended to back up your website. So before I saved these, I needed to um, publish my site. Uh, so now this works for me. Let's see what this little thing is. Welcome, a little welcome message. So here you can see your credits that you've used. Uh, you can jump and contact support or buy more credits, but you can get started for free with this app. It's really great. Another just tool in your toolbox. All right. Another app we have for you today is CodeBlock. So CodeBlock is a great way to start writing custom code in Webflow. You can write CSS and JavaScript. And the reason why I think it's so great is because it allows you to um, access your variables in your classes right within the editor. So as you see, we created a new CSS and that added a style tag to our uh, navigator or to our site. And I can start writing uh, here from my class, any class that I want. So here I can grab that and it'll autofill. Additionally, I can grab my variables. So any variables that I have in my project, I can now um, look for them. So if I wanted to see primary and I wanted to see maybe um, card primary um, text, I can grab that. I can uh, to use any CSS property, autofill that as well, and uh, just work like I normally would outside of Webflow in Webflow, so I don't have to uh, go back and forth, which is very, very nice. Uh, what you'll see here is if we just like jump around, this is just because of Webflow, uh, we have to make that little jump before we see that this is saved in our style settings here. 
In addition to CSS, I can also start writing in JavaScript. I'll press new JS and get this script tag. And then I can start writing document and get the autocomplete.query selector and then get my uh, classes that I need. So if I, again, wanted to access any of the classes, I could do that right here and have that nice autocomplete. So this will save here. Again, I have to just like jump in between a little bit, but it'll save in my script settings. Uh, some things to note is that uh, Webflow does sanitize the JavaScript here, uh, which can cause some unexpected uh, behavior. So you do want to check and make sure that uh, Webflow didn't replace any of the code that you wrote here. Uh, but this is another really good tool in your toolbox. I think that's the, the theme of today is great tools. All right, that's it for the demos. But before we get out of here, there are a few apps that I can't help but mention. The first up is Fluid Builder. If you're using the clamp function in your CSS, this will help you easily generate values for Webflow variables. The second is Flow Bookings, which is a Webflow native bookings platform. And the third is Clean Styles, a utility that helps you scan your project to tidy up duplicate styles, even if they're named differently which will help you reduce the size of your CSS files and make for a cleaner project. That's it for this month's app drop. We hope you found some great new apps to help you with your projects. And we're so thankful to the developers who keep building awesome tools for our Webflow users. Now, the apps we covered today are just the start. So head over to the Webflow Marketplace to find more apps that will help you build faster and connect with the tools you use every day. And if you have any questions about building a Webflow app of your own, drop them in the comments below. We're always here to help. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.